Hello and welcome. I'm Douglas East with Sign Tracker Technologies. Today we're going to talk about a new feature in Sign Tracker, managing exclusive posts. So, what exactly is an exclusive post? Well, it's basically a special post style that you create for a special client. Usually it's a major account. It will not be one of your standard post types, of course. Typically, it's not going to be used by any other account, but this is not a requirement. So, for example, you could have a gray post, and maybe you're going to limit gray posts to a few accounts. So, typically, it's for one account, but it doesn't have to be. Usually, there's an upcharge associated with it. This is because non-standard posts you know, take a little more effort to manage and coordinate. It may not be rebillable uh, if it happens that the client also owns it. So, for example, you could have a client that you just won, and they have a variety of their own posts, which they'd like to use because they spend a lot of money on them, you can accommodate them. So let's go ahead and take a look at an account that's been using this to great effect. This is a company called Strongman. They're out in uh, the Bay Area. And uh, we can take a look at, they've got a whole variety of uh, custom posts out there. You can see price differentials here, which ones are enabled or not. But let's take a look at this uh, top one here, this Watts post. And you can see in the post editor, uh, what they've done here, they've constructed the post, uh, what is the line to have. And this might have had, for example, two bottom riders, for example, you know, but they've constructed it uh, to be this uh, configuration. Size is specified, color, size, all of these things. Uh, price differential in this case is $225 uplift. It's quite significant. And you notice here that it's they've deselected the standard post type option. This is because it's not going to be a standard post. And in this case, it is eligible for rebill because uh, in this case, Strongman owns this post. So if this client sits on the post for some time, they'll be rebuilt. And you can see down here, they've uploaded a photo of the example of it for their clients to view this. Um, now, how is this used? So we've set the uh, rebill options. We set the standard post types. Uh, and by the way, the part number that you specify, you can make it be anything you want. That part number, the description, price, et cetera, all gets transferred to QuickBooks automatically, so you don't have to do anything there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this office here. And we happen to know that that is for the Menlo uh, Park office of Intero. We're going to go ahead and select this office. Then after selecting it, edit the office. And you'll see down here there's an available post type here. We're going to go and review the available post types. There's the standard ones right here at the top. But what we're really looking for are the custom ones here at the bottom. So we're going to say, here's our post we just created, the Watts post. We're going to select that. And you see now that that is enabled in the available post types that they have. If there's other post types that you want to have them uh, also have available to them, you can turn them on or off here. But in this case, they're going exclusively with that particular post. We go ahead and save that. And now we've updated that account with their new default post. So let's go ahead and uh, recap what we have here. So we're going to create the new post, uh, the desired post design, material description, size, uh, panel combinations, that kind of stuff. Uh, and again, the part number price, whatever you decide there gets translated to QuickBooks automatically. Unselect the standard post type option. That means that it will not show in that standard post type uh, selector. By default, all of your customers have available to them all of your standard post types. If applicable, set the post up charge or discount. Now, in many cases, your client, you won this account. They say, well, I want you to use our blue metal posts or whatever they have. Okay, that's fine. And they may insist on a discount. You know, whatever you want to do, you can adjust that. It, it can be an uplift or a discount. Just enter it in that box. It'll be taken care of automatically. Select the appropriate rebuild option. Again, if they own the post, you can't really rebuild them for it. It's their property. Then lastly, go ahead and edit the office, select a new post as a default post type, enable any of the other post types depending on what their client preferences are. So hope this uh, you find this helpful in attracting new major accounts to your sign tracker business. If you have any questions on how to use this feature or anything else at all, feel welcome to shoot us an email at info at signtracker.com or just give us a call.